Warning, this is a really sick topic. You have been warned. I am probably going to get very, very angry in this video. You may be aware that over the last few years, a major player has more or less begun to dominate children's entertainment online. Beginning on YouTube, the British-owned Coco Melon spread its reach far and wide by presenting cutesy 3D animations of traditional nursery rhymes and original songs for kids. Becoming an absolute beast globally and, you know, basically dominating everything when it comes to what children and babies and toddlers are watching for entertainment. Now, as irresponsible as it is on the part of the parents to ever let a child under the age of about 15 anywhere near the internet unsupervised, it's nowhere near as bad as what Coco Melon is doing now. With its team up with Netflix Coco Melon Lane, a nice little show apparently, kids have also been able to get their saccharin sterile entertainment through this platform as well. Or, you know, get indoctrinated into a sick, perverted movement that aims to confuse an entire generation of impressionable minds into questioning their own very nature. The latter is certainly the case, as a viral clip has shown an episode where... And make sure you aren't eating right now, okay? A little boy dresses up in a ballerina's tutu and dances for his two diverse dads. Welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. I hope you're having a better day than I am. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you find that you enjoy what I'm saying here. And of course, don't forget you can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support me in the fight against this kind of sickness. Also, don't forget to check if you are a subscriber that you are still subscribed. As people have been pointing out to me that they are no longer subscribed sometimes. And that is just some really janky ass stuff from YouTube there. So watch out for that. Okay, we're going to Breitbart... For this one, Netflix's Coco Melon Lane features cross-dressing boy dancing for his dads. Yeah, oh, this is sick. This stuff is sick, man. Why the fucking hell are you putting this into children's entertainment? Why the hell do you think it is in any way appropriate? If you are so damn, damn sure that kids are going to be confused about their gender, do you really think they need help with that? If it was actually a major issue that was affecting young lives and needed, like, they really actually needed our help to change them, to make them align with what they actually think, don't you think we'd have seen this throughout human history? But, oh no, actually, how about instead we just shove it into all children's entertainment all the fucking time so that they end up confused? And you can add more confused psychopaths to your ranks. You sick, sick bastards. This really is... A, oh, it drives me nuts. And they call us transphobes, you know? That's what they call us. But the reality, like I said in another video earlier on, is we're not scared of them. We're protecting children. And you'd be very surprised how far people will go to protect children. So there's no phobia. Trust me. The popular Netflix children's cartoon Coco Melon Lane features an episode in which a little boy dressed as a girl dances for his dad, as seen in a clip of the scene going viral on social media. This is what our children are watching. Netflix show Coco Melon Lane has a little boy in a dress dance for his gay dads. Why are they pushing this woke agenda on our children? From Graham Allen. Thank you, Graham Allen, for bringing this to our attention. This is disgusting. And I know what you, if you're, you know, loitering in my comments section and are a woke tard, are going to say. You're going to say, oh, it's so funny to watch a grown man get angry about a children's show. Well, no. No, it's not. It's not funny. And yes, I am getting angry about it because children do not deserve this. Children are innocent. Leave children alone. Leave children alone. Remember? Hashtag leave children alone, like with Nick Merckx and Call of Duty earlier this year. Leave the damned kids alone, you perverts. Coco Melon Lane is one of Netflix's most popular children's shows and is a top series in the US, UK, Philippines. It is, yes, sadly it is here as well. Canada and South Africa, according to Fox News. Well, my kid ain't watching Coco Melon, so screw you. The series is aimed at preschool children. Of course it is. And now they've got this kind of sick filth in it. Don't, I'm, I'm not playing the clip, by the way. I am not going to give this thing air. 
Speaking of the show's main child character named JJ, Heather Tillett, Netflix's preschool content executive, described the character saying he talks directly to camera and he talks to the kid at home. It really feels like he's inviting you into a play date with him and his friends. He's asking you to come with him on whatever his journey of the day is. Yeah, come on little kids, let's all dress like the opposite sex and get completely confused. Since, since I was a kid, I remember some of the other kids uh, that were younger than me. I remember they were like little girls seemed to have this, this ridiculous habit of just wanting to take off all their clothes and run around naked. And, and little boys would very often want to dress up in their mum's clothes and do impressions of them. These were things that were considered to be perfectly normal and kids would grow out of these phases and ultimately just become normal people. Unless... Somebody else, who should know better, but is brainwashed, decides to interject, interfere, and then reinforce this kind of behavior until the kid's actually so damned confused that they don't know what they really are anymore. This is not something that people are naturally born with. It is something that is taught. It is given, it's bestowed through indoctrination, it's forced on innocent, impressionable minds. I am now, after making this video, immediately going to contact every single friend I have in the Philippines and tell them about this so that they can get their kids to stop watching Coco Melon. Coco Melon was created by Californian J. John in... Um, 2005. He's a father who wanted to use music to teach his own children, and that's a fair enough... fair enough goal. After first uploading his handmade episodes to YouTube, he soon began earning billions of views. Eventually, the brand was acquired by Moonbug Entertainment in 2020, and they are British, I'm sorry to say. The newest series, Coco Melon Lane, launched this year on Netflix. This Netflix series is just the latest in a long line of shows aimed at children pushing the extremist, woke, lugabataka agenda. Other examples, and you know what, it's not even really very fair to include L's, B's, and G's in there, because, well... Certainly not the G's, anyway, because the G's are as legit as it gets. There's nothing that they can do about it. They are born that way, and it happens. The L's and B's are a bit more questionable, and the T's and Q's are a joke. So, there you go. Other examples include the Disney cartoon reboot series Proud Family, which also uh, featured a family headed by a pair of gay fathers. Yeah, and also had that nice little uh, performance art spoken word song shite in an episode earlier. Uh, this year, where they were going on about how slaves built this country, which of course is actually bullshit. The country was built by the people who came to the country, and yes, maybe some of them owned slaves, but they certainly didn't build the country of America, so don't give us that crap. But there have been many other shows promoting the Look Up To Car agenda to children, Amy, including Nickelodeon SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, that's right. They've gone woke. Blue's Clues is woke. Warner Brothers Animation and Cartoon Network's I Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. Yes, that was disgusting as well. PBS's Arthur, Disney's DuckTales, and many more. So then, what do we say about this? Get your children away from the internet. Get your children off phones. Get your children away from Coco Melon. Anything put out by Disney and vet everything before you let a kid even close to it. Or better yet, just, just show them old stuff. It's real easy to get hold of this stuff. It's real easy to put it on a TV screen. Just show them the old stuff before this crap was in, was introduced because this is no good for society this is no good for culture this is no good for humanity this is no good for mental health and any attempt to support this and and use it to attack people like me who say that it is sick and it's filthy by acting like that makes me some kind of prejudiced racist bigoted whatever phobic phobic whatever is just a big pack of fucking lies you people should be ashamed of yourselves Get in the sea. You don't belong here with the rest of us. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Will of the Fans and like this video if you've enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see some more of me, because I would like to see some more of you. Kind of fumbled my ending there, but oh well. I will be back with another video for you very, very soon. Hopefully I have one where I'm less angry. But until then, question absolutely everything. And I will see you next time.